This day took years of dreaming and hoping and doubting and planning. But when the time was right, it happened all at once. This is how we moved to Uganda. Three years into marriage, we've been blessed to see a lot of beautiful places. This place, <laughs> it's better than the Avatar, right? It's tangible. Oh my gosh. That is saying a lot. It's it better is. than the I hike earlier. Because right, I thought it looked like heaven, but it's such more like heaven. My hands. <laughs> They're so cold. Do you want to go up? No, I just need to do this video and say goodbye. One of the most unique spots is a little town at the source of the Nile River called Jinja, Uganda. Through trips with the nonprofit Abby works for, we made a lot of friends. They shared with us their warm, welcoming culture and their beautiful country, and we fell in love. Over the years and as we traveled more, our favorite conversation was always where we wanted to live next. Denver, Oahu, Lisbon. Our heads were all over the map convincing ourselves each time that we were really about to move, that it was actually happening, then coming to terms with reality, that it wasn't practical, that the job was too steady, that we needed to stay closer to family. Making big decisions is hard. Making big decisions with another person sometimes feels impossible. Timing, desire, finances hardly ever all line up. But if they get close enough, sometimes, you go anyway. A few months ago, things clicked. We hadn't forgotten that little town on the banks of the Nile, and we felt the call. For me, it was a desire to pursue videography. For Abby, it was a need to understand Ugandan culture for her work. And together, after endless debates on where we should go next, we both felt peace. So we started to pray. God, open the next door, we'll walk through. Then our landlord let us break our lease early, at no extra cost. God, open the next door, we'll walk through. Then our visas got approved. Our visas got approved. No, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's about to happen? I'm all ready for work and Abby just is in her pajamas. Mmm, that's so good. I got on the website yesterday and was like, Please, soon. Did I miss an email? What's <laughs> happening? Exciting. Mm -hmm. God, open the next door and we'll walk through. Then we found a place to stay in Jinja. So we packed our bags. You should use it more. That's what moving does. It makes you like realize the things that you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start using that. It's empty. We're leaving this place and it's bittersweet. It's very echoey. A bit overwhelmed because yesterday was a lot. I like, you know, told some people from my family bye and then came straight to Nashville, sold my car, which was the most emotional part of the day because Phoebe was a part of me. And then the actual like loading up this place feels okay to me. I think we're just like in the rhythm of moving a lot and yeah. so packing up and leaving a place, you know, it's sad. We've had good memories here and we love this place, but I'm excited for what's next. I think the next couple weeks of like telling people bye is going to be bittersweet. Yeah. So the next stop is a few different people's houses and then you gone. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, we're kind of just Popping around, staying with Olivia and Lauren for a bit, and then staying with my parents, and we're both going on trips. So there's a lot in the next three weeks, but three weeks, three and a half weeks, we're there. Yeah. Which it's is kind of a long time to be there. Yeah, it's not, but it's not much time until we're there, and it's also a long time to be homeless. <laughs> the path wasn't clear, but the key for us was living intentionally setting our life up in a way that we would actually be able to make the jump when the time was right. It's different for everyone, but for us, that meant no mortgage, no pets, and no kids yet. Free to adventure wherever we felt called. I feel like there's a lot of things that I, I know 
are going to be different than my expectations, but I don't have an expectation for them, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I know things are going to move slower than they do here in the U.S. It's it's not going to feel as maybe, maybe like, productive at times. And then down to, like, you know, grocery shopping and cooking meals and just some of the simple things that I just don't really know. Like, obviously, we've stayed in Uganda a week at a time, but we ate out, like, every meal, or we had, you know, food prepared at the guest house, and so making our own food, grocery shopping, yeah, getting in this the rhythm of work, you know, making friends, going to church, things like that. I just, I don't know what to expect. I just know they're not going to be, I'm trying to not even expect things because I know they're going to be so different than what I have in my mind. I just think there will be like maybe one big thing or a few big mm-hmm. things that come up that we actually just devote all our time to like building mm-hmm. certain relationships or spending time with certain people. Yeah. And then all the stuff that we were planning on doing is like kind of on the side compared to these other things that seem more important. Yeah. What was the hardest thing to say goodbye to? Honestly, just family and our friends. Like that's, that's something that I think has made us be really intentional about when we move and where we move because we recognize that not only are is this choice like affecting our life, but it's also affecting the lives of people that we're closest to. Yeah. Is there like a goal you have for yourself? I I would say that the one of the purposes is to create a lasting change. Mm-hmm. We've said that we're hopeful that life will feel like there was before mm-hmm. moving to Uganda and after. Mm-hmm. And I think whatever happens in this time frame is going to cause a change in outlook, perspective. Mm -hmm. I want to be doing videography full time. I want to Mm -hmm. have a more like slow pace of life. Mm -hmm. And so I think we're leaning into a lot of those things. That's what I was thinking, like definitely a slower pace of life. I feel like that's honestly really hard to pursue when you live in a lot of places in the US, but especially like in a big city. I mean, it's definitely possible, but it's difficult to really embrace a slower pace of life. And I feel like being in a place like Uganda where culturally it is slower, it's more relational, it's it's less about efficiency. <laughs> and I think that that's gonna be good for us to kind of get a reset. Yeah, feels like the first real thing, like the first big thing. Your whole life, you're in school, mm-hmm. you're in college, You just get that first job. It feels like the first real big life altering decision. decision. Yeah. Yeah. This is something we've wanted and it's finally the doors are open. Um, Yeah. And I think I'm also looking for in the six months, like clarity on what would be after this, you know? Yeah. Because for the first time in our life, for the first time, maybe ever like we really truly don't have a plan after this so it's like yeah we don't know what comes next gosh the last few weeks have been a slow blur there were times when it felt like we've been living out of our suitcases forever but looking back it went really fast we're thankful for the time we got to spend with family and our friends who threw us a going away party and everyone who supported us while we pressed on into the unknown. And now, we've arrived.